from the West African sub-region, where it's a new dawn in neighboring Ghana, with the swearing-in of the new president, John Mahama. The event was witnessed by a mammoth crowd, including two former presidents of the country and some other African leaders. Our team, led by our Africa Affairs correspondent, Benga Ashiru, has been monitoring developments in that country. I, John Dramani Mahama, do in the name of the Almighty God swear. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. John Dramani Mahama, taking oath of office as new president of Ghana. Citizens and friends of the country all watch in admiration. Presidents from other African countries are not left out of the ceremony, with traditional dancers on hand to add color to the occasion. <laughs> I will work to ensure that our society is less polarized and less weighted down by the pressures of our political differences. I will work to ensure that Ghana is a place where all our citizens, regardless of their religious faith, their ethnicity, or their political affiliation, will have the opportunities available to them to reach their full potential. Former President Jerry Rawlins and John Kufour were physically present to lend support to the new president. Ghana's main opposition party, the New Patriotic Party, is not amused by the day's events as it boycotted the ceremonies. Official results gave Mr. Mahama 50.7% of the votes, enough to avoid a runoff against the MPP's Nana Akufo Addo, who got 47.7% of the total votes.